So let's bring in Michael McFall, former U.S. ambassador to Russia, an NBC News international affairs analyst and author of the new book, From Cold War to Hot Peace, on his time in Russia. You are the guy that helps us with our baseball cards of oligarchs. So okay. let's start with Victor Vexelberg, um, uh, the person behind the company that apparently was paying Michael Cohen. What can you tell us about Victor Vexelberg? Well, if you have his baseball card, that's a rich one. That's a valuable one. He's one mm -hmm. of the richest people in Russia. Uh, he made his money in the 90s, principally, uh, in oil and gas and other things, Chuck. Uh, he's not one of the inner circle of Vladimir Putin. Uh, those people came later. Those people gave, be, became rich because of their relationships with Putin mm -hmm. after he became president. Victor's not one of those. I used to work with him. I know him from my time as ambassador. Uh, but he is somebody, of course, that you have to keep in good standing with the Kremlin. Otherwise, you mm -hmm. don't do business, especially on the scale that he does. And so he's one of those guys in the kind of second tier uh, in terms of influence with the Kremlin, but top tier in terms of uh, value. He's one of the richest people in Russia. So it's would you be skeptical of the theory that this is a Putin operation and he's doing some work on behalf of Putin or in some way on behalf of the Kremlin to keep a relationship with uh, the consigliere of the president of the United States and Michael Cohen, or is this a guy who's worried about his own business, or is it very possible he's worried about his own business interests, and he thinks, like any other business interest, he needs to know who the new, understanding the new president, so he hires a, a consultant like Michael Cohen. What, what theory is more likely? So, uh, just to be clear, I don't know. Uh, right? And as a political scientist, we can theorize, but I want to be clear, we need to know a lot more information before we know. But let me speculate a little bit. Uh, first of all, he's been in the outs with Putin. Uh, not a, just a couple of months ago, some of his people were arrested. There was a lot of rumors that after inauguration, uh, Putin's new inauguration, which just happened earlier this week, that there was going to be another redistribution of property rights like there had been before. <laughs> new and oligarchs, couple, meaning? <laughs> yeah, yeah, new yeah. oligarchs, people closer to the KGB or the FSB. Mm -hmm. And on that list, high on that list in the rumor mills was uh, a guy named Mr. Magomedov. We don't, let's not talk about him. He's sitting in jail right now. Uh, but Vexelberg was on that list. So one possible theory is he's trying to prove his worth to the Kremlin. Mm -hmm. He knows New York well. Uh, he comes here often. He has a lot of money invested here and throughout the country, by the way. Yeah. And maybe this was a plea for him, a show that I can be useful to you. Uh, I don't know that to be the case, but that, that would be a plausible explanation for me. What does that tell you every time that we continue to see <laughs> New on these threats, people, yes. yes. I mean, and every time it's a, it seems like, oh, it's another tie to Russia, another tie to Russia. Does this surprise you? Is this like the Russian novel of investigations? Uh, it does surprise me, and this one actually shocks me, given what we were talking about before, that Deripaska's yeah. not in the inner circle. Uh, he was really trying to establish himself in the West, trying yeah. to park a lot of his money outside, uh, building something called Skolkova, which is the Russian version of the Silicon Valley, and then he pops up in this story. It's very strange to me. All right. Ambassador McFall, good luck with the book. When are, when are we going to do more oligarchs? When are we going to get Deripaska <laughs> up next? How about that, Appar Chuck? <laughs> Apparently, it's getting close to a daily basis anyway. Yes. Mike McFall, thank you, sir. Thanks for having me. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel, so thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Beat the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.